So as promised, my first video is uh, about Diane Schuler. So she was a mom, a wife, an auntie. O overall, like the community, her family, her friends said she was a cool lady. Like ain't had no issues. She uh, didn't have a really good relationship with her own mom, which kind of would explain why she went so hard for her own kids. Like. You know, she worked eight hours a day, made sure the kids were straight. Nobody had no complaints. Her nieces loved to hang out with them, which would explain why they was gung-ho to go camping with, you know, Aunt Diane. And, um, like, her husband, he uh, worked, but not no real, like, you know, bring home the money type job or whatever. Like, from all understandings or all accounts from what I understand, she was really the breadwinner in the relationship. So, um... Um, that's just a little background on everything about her home life or whatever. So, um, this Diane Shula lady decides to drive, like, on the wrong side of the highway and kills herself, her daughter, her nieces, and three other people in the car that she ran into head on on the highway, right? So, back it on up. Her, her nieces, her daughter, and her son was coming from a camping trip. People at the camping site said she was cool. She was chill. They stopped by McDonald's. She got orange juice. Apparently, the kids got something to eat. Um, they, I think somebody even, or one of the accounts that I remember reading was saying that she, uh, they had video or evidence that the kids even played at the play area, which to me would say the stop was a little lengthy. It wasn't no in and out type thing or whatever. So, um she gets back on the road uh she stops at a gas station i don't know the gas up like um like i said i, I just i kind of i heard the story a long time ago when it happened in 2009 and then since then just kind of snippets i've been keeping up with but i believe she gassed up went into the store looking for some type of pain relievers or whatever they ain't have none so she came back out and then from there it kind of get a little shaky and murky from my understanding the ride from the camp site to her house was like maybe two and a half hours but a lot of these little youtube like um stories like the one i'm doing is saying it was like a 30 40 minute ride but from again from what i understand it was really like two two and a half hours so and with screaming yelling kids in the car bruh i can only imagine the ride like just recently i took a, a car ride to florida bruh 12 13 hours in the car with just people love lord have mercy different in the you know individual personalities people gotta pee every two seconds you know it's just pretty foolishness so i can even imagine just one adult with a bunch of kids you know they amp is early in the morning they just came from a camping trip so anyway fast forward um, she crashes the car, um, her, her her van. She was driving her brother's SUV, and she crashed it. Boom, right into another car at, like, high speeds. Like, you know, so the car caught on fire. People is dead. She dead. Miraculously, her son lived. Now, it's a documentary out there called um, Something's Wrong With Aunt Diane. And in that documentary, the, the, the father, the husband of Diane was a uh, videotape saying no i'm sorry the sister of the father of the kids diane's husband's sister made a comment that he never wanted kids he never felt like you know he he, he wanted kids and that was her thing and she did everything for him now he's stuck with the burden of having to raise, you know, a son on his own or whatever. Now, I found that comment a little suspicious, a little, like, hmm. I, like, I don't know, like, maybe he has something to do with it. Maybe he knows more than what he's telling. Um, and I'll get to that a little further in the story or whatever. But, um, so, out of everything, again, nobody thought she was no bad woman. She was chilling. But this one fateful day in 2009, boom, she runs into like another SUV doing like high speeds on the opposite side of the highway. Now, it's a bunch of 911 calls coming in at the, at the time. Like it's a lady driving erratically. You can see kids in the, in the van. Um, then more calls come in. It's a lady driving on the wrong side of the highway. Like, you know, she going north in the southbound type shit. Like deadhead. Like just, just, just 
just pinballing down the road, like giving no regards to nobody, herself, the kids in the car with her, or other occupants on the road. And like I said, she finally smashes Crash. And of course, like everybody, because this made national news. I remember when this happened. It made national news and people was like, what in the world? Like, was this lady sick? Like she had to have a stroke, a, like went into a coma or something for her to do some shit like this. Um, excuse my language, I'm sorry, but for her to do some mess like this, like, it just was like, what in the world? But come to find out, the toxicology report had it like, nah, she was drunk and she was high. Like, from my understanding, from everything that I read and gathered and watched, like, she had liquor in her belly that wasn't even digested type drunk. Like, she was drinking along the way or whatever. And that's why I was kind of pointing out that I kind of get, like, a car ride with a bunch of kids or whatever. But, ma'am, you the driver. Like, you took on this responsibility. Why well, get drunk and then high, like... You know, I just don't get it. They say she was smoking marijuana up to 15 minutes before the crash. So I can only imagine what the kids was going through. Now, again, I mentioned a little earlier, it was a um, documentary called Is Something Wrong With Aunt Diane? That came from, and they, on the car ride home, somewhere along the way, the niece, one of her nieces, her older niece, called her peoples and was like, something is wrong with Aunt Diane. So that's where that name of that documentary came from. At the time, her peoples, which is Diane's brother, got on the phone with Diane and was like, listen, you sound like you weird or whatever. Sit still. You say you sick. Like, just sit still. I don't know what's going on, but stay your behind where you at and I'm coming to get you and the kids, right? For whatever reason, she left the phone right where she stood and got back on the road and drove right into oncoming traffic. So, um, for me, I, I kind of wonder, like, did you do it on purpose? Like, was you embarrassed? Like, because everybody said, like, I mean, her, oh, my goodness, her father, I mean, her uh, husband and his sister went on a crusade to, like, she do not drink. She do not smoke. She is a good, wholesome woman. And then somewhere along the way, it became, well, she's a recreational smoker. She's a recreational drinker. So those type things started to come out. Um, but like I said, the toxicology had already said she was drunk and she was high. Um, they tried to do like, oh, resume her body and do another one. They was able to get DNA and even an outside uh, independent toxicology report, from my understanding, still said the same thing. Like she was drunk and she was high. Like this is what happened. So that's why I said I wonder was it like the embarrassment that, oh, man, I got too drunk. Like now my people's going to find out that I've been drinking all the fucking while. Oh, Lord, excuse my language, YouTube and viewers. But I've been drinking all the while. Like that's what I'm really thinking that probably kind of happen or like you know the kids done seen me slaring you know speedballing driving all crazy they gonna snitch on me and then my secret gonna be out the bag and maybe she purposely you know chose to say i'm gonna end my life you know not really giving thought to you ruining the lives of so many others yo like the people that was in the car that she hit innocent innocent people they had family like it was a uh, three you know older gentlemen i think in their 50s one in their 70s that lost their life they was on their way to family dinner like dinner with family and friends and to be like dead for nothing because you was what drunk and high like come on with kids in the car and then your nieces you killed all of them so that means your brother's kids you just wiped them out like why? Because you wanted to have a swig or two. Oh, my bad. A whole ball, apparently. Because, like, they said she was mad drunk. Like, that's what the toxicology report showed. That she was just, like, drunk off her behind. So, it's just weird, you know. And, but, again, it's just extra weird. Because if this was truly the case, man, like, she had that mess well. Like, she was, like, a sneaky Pete type drink drinker and smoker. Or her family just went on a, a nationwide crusade of lies just to save face. And when I say her family, it was really the husband and his sister. I mean, they was just like, yeah. Um, but, you know, it's what happened. Tasha Car Report came out. This is what happened. Um, what was sad, I think, though, is that the family of the other victims, the car that she crashed into, they really got no real justice for real, for real, because the person who did it, you know, died in the crash. Like, what you going to do, charge her with murder? And then like who up? You know what I mean? Like it just kind of um, was the unfortunate circumstances that they really probably felt like, damn, you know, I mean, talk. My family is gone and, and it's no real justice. So I thought that was one sad aspect of the case. Um, another thing that stood out was that um, 
like I said, that it was this whole worldwide crusade to make sure that everybody knew that she didn't drink and she didn't smoke. But the toxicology show otherwise, um, even down the line, from my understanding, they actually sued each other. The husband sued the, the wife's brother for like not keeping, you know, the, the driving your van and, and, and it was unsafe to drive your van type crap. Uh, he sued, tried to sue the state for not keeping the highways, you know, safe or whatever. But again, um, it was mad road signs up wrong way. Don't enter wrong way. Don't enter. Like if she just took time to stop reading, look before she crossed over into this intersection of oncoming traffic, it could have all been a preventive. And that's why like something in my mind really says this lady did it on purpose. Like Diane, Shula decided to drive her and some kids into oncoming traffic. Like, again, I don't know why, but I speculate it was a little bit of embarrassment going on because her secret of being an alcoholic um, would really just become exposed. And she didn't want that. Apparently, like, you know, maybe she was just a vain woman. I don't know. It, it's just an interesting case to me. And it's really, really interesting because, again, like, it's just so out of character, apparently, for her to be, like, speedballing down the highway on the wrong side drunk. Like, nobody would have woke up that morning and been like, yeah, that was Diane behind doing that crazy mess you know what i mean so like it just was really weird anyway that's my take on the diane Sch schuler story um let me know what you think this is my very first like youtube video where i was just talking off the dome um i don't have nothing written down reverse i mean rehearsed or anything like i'm real live in the car just chilling so let me know what you think don't forget to like and subscribe